How you doing guys? I'm Sean and welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, here's Ramble. Today's video, I'm going to show you what I use and you could use if you're having problems about uploading films up onto YouTube about the file size, large file sizes. This is a compressor and I've been using it for nearly two years and as I say, I tell you, I have no affiliation whatsoever with this crowd. Um, I just, I like it because it's, you know, it's dropping down the file sizes. It's unbelievable. It's, it's nearly about 400, 500 percent. So, have we look here anyway? What you want to do is look for um, a handbrake. You call this. Let's see. Uh, let's see the handbrake. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Hold on a second. Eh? Handbrake. Main computers aren't the best, you know. Handbrake open source. That's it there. So really, what you want to look for is handbrake open source video transcoder. Okay, you open it up, and it's um, handbrake. Dot fr now as i say tell you just check it out yourselves guys because i've been using it for two years i've had no bugs no problems with it whatsoever and once you download that yeah um put it on your desktop of course and i'll show you this here now now this here piece of kit i am not really a hundred percent sure on all the dodges on all the gadgets on and all the, the wee things that you can do with uh do with this but look basically i'm going to show you exactly what i do with it now i've created a film there uh, for the channel, it was in a mill town film. Let me see the size of it. Properties. Yeah. So basically, it's 523 megabyte. Okay, so it's quite a large enough average size file. It's uh, So that's it there. So that's the same. So what you do is you go up until source, up in the top left hand corner. Now go until file. Okay, click on it. Now, obviously, I've previously opened it, so I'm just going now. So, if it happens to be in a folder in your desktop or wherever you've got it, um, just click on till it. Once you click onto that, click on open, and you'll see it building up. Now, that's in the system. Next thing you want to do is go down until browse. This is the destination over here, okay? Destination, and it's where you're going to be putting it, naming it, and putting the file that you're going to be creating. Now, all I do is I keep the same sort of file name. A lot easier when you're searching it later on. And I just put a number one on the end of it. But I say you can call it whatever you want and you can put it wherever you want. Once you click, click save. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you look over here, the size of the video that you're doing. As you can see yourself, as I say, in the source, which is the original film, was 1280 by 720. Now, what do you want to do is see this anamorphic. It's usually at loose. Change it to none. Okay, do you see that? And it'll automatically change it to the corresponding say, file size there. Now you want to make sure you click on keep aspect ratio. Make sure that that box is ticked. And basically what that's doing is it's going to obviously keep the aspect ratio as it's a rendering. Okay. Once you do that then click on web optimized. Okay. Then go until video. Okay. You see the longer video. And what you want to do is you go over to the quality. Now what you want to turn this to is 22, the number 22. Now you can go up as high as you want. The problem, the higher up you go, uh, the less of quality you're going to get. So really, I've used this as say nearly two years and I've kept it at 22. It's what they recommend also. And I have to say guys, it's perfect. So 22, keep it on variable frame rate. I've never had, now guys as I say, I know nothing about all this other stuff here. And I'm sure I could do a lot more than what I can do, but I'm just going to show you how to compress this film. So that's it done. So I just go back over again over the pictures just to make sure everything's set up. I've got the anamorphic set for none. I've ticked the box, keep aspect ratio. I've clicked on web optimize. I've double checked this 1280 by 720. And that's it. So you just click start. And that's it there. It's going to be starting to... Uh, my screen capture software that I was using crashed on me uh, this morning, so I'm hand holding the camera. My apologies about it, but you can clearly see we about two minutes uh, remaining. So you can come back. I'll cut this off now, and you can come back and uh, closer to the time. Okay, guys, now we're about 40 odd seconds um, left on this. So, as I say, just a recap you just go up until your source, uh, you pick your file, okay. And you're going down and just follow it, making sure that it's uh, anamorphic, I set it none, keep the aspect ratio, click on web optimized, go over to the video and set it for 22. As I say, I know nothing about all these other things. This add to queue, 
Um, I have used this here before. And basically what you can do is you can put three or four, maybe five, I'm sure, more films um, that you want to handbrake um, one after another. I did do it, but what I found was it was taking a lot longer to handbrake. And more importantly, the, the, the compression wasn't great. So I'm now always just doing them individually, nice and small. Where's that done? So let's have a wee look at this. So I'll close this off. Let's just reduce it down because I may go back in. And if I go over to the original folder where I put it into. Now this here is the original file. As I say, sorry about the hand holding the camera here guys. Uh, Milltown Massacre. Okay, 523 megabyte. And this is a compressed one. There you go, 63 megabyte. Now that's a core change. And I'll just give you a wee quick glance into the quality here. Um, so that's the original. Not too sure what Bates Tron says and over with this hand camera, but and this is a this is the other one. As you can see yourself, there's no difference. Like, and in fact, if you're watching all of my films and you're finding the quality, saying every single one of them have been um, handbraked. So it's uh, there you go. So guys, listen as I say, tell you. Um, check it out I, I have no affiliation with this crowd at all but i do think it's great and it certainly reduces the up up speed and like it would normally have took me hours upon hours of uh uploading even at you know 500 600 megabyte where i'm getting it down to 64 it's up within half an hour 40 minutes you know and i've got an ultra slow um upload and download speed here in ireland it's actually i think it's three uh, gigabyte or three megabyte not technical minded guys so you go, handbrake and check it out and let me know how you get on guys, but um, I think it'll save you an awful lot of time and effort. One wee thing is, say for Toxic, you do look at your photo, uh, you look at your film after you've handbraked it and it looks like out of shape. It's simply down to this here, uh, put over the picture again, it's simply down to this, making sure that your source, this one here is 1280 by 720. I guarantee you when you re-look at the other one, that might say... 1140 by 720 and it's just somewhere along the lines that the size is what you can do is you click off this and you manually set this okay there you go guys listen send you love from Ireland if you found this uh, video helpful give it a wee like and consider subscribing tell me to check me out on twitter and on facebook check out the website rambleswithmycamera.com guys send you love from Ireland and uh, thanks again for watching